by Nate Davis USA Today Choose, May 8, 2018 The five-year, $150 million extension Atlanta Falcons quarterback Matt Ryan signed last week will make him the highest-paid player in NFL history. For now, the 2016 league MVP will become the first to average $30 million over a multi-year deal and the first with $100 million in guarantees once his new pact kicks in next March. Ryan's reign will be temporary. Over the past 11 months, Oakland's Derek Carr, Detroit's Matthew Stafford, San Francisco's Jimmy Garoppolo and Minnesota's Kirk Cousins moved the needles for total compensation, average salary and guarantees until Ryan secured the Triple Crown, at least Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers reset the bar. Here's a look at the salary ceilings at each offensive position with a look at who might break through next. quarterback the standard, Ryan has established the market for total and average compensation as well as guaranteed money. Who's next? It's been five years since Rodgers' five-year, $110 million extension made him the NFL's peak earner. That deal is scheduled to expire after the 2019 season, but Ryan's figures now make it clear how much the Packers will have to ante up, $31 minus $32 million annually, or more, depending on how long it takes for this to play out. Rodgers could wait for Russell Wilson, his deal is also up in two years, to go next given he's also in position to surpass Ryan. Carson Wentz and Jared Goff could factor in if their teams get aggressive about extensions, though Jameis Winston and Marcus Mariota will likely get paid first. The wild card is Tom Brady. He's long taken team-friendly deals and is scheduled to make $41 million over the next two seasons. But if he reaches the market at age 42 and is still playing at an MVP level, all bets could be off given what he might command on a short-term arrangement. Running back the standard, in terms of multi-year deals, Atlanta's Devon De Freeman is the pace setter after signing a five-year, $41.25 million contract last August. But Pittsburgh's Le'Veon Bell will make $14.5 million this year if he winds up playing on the franchise tag again. Who's next? Bell is shooting far higher than Freeman's average of $8.25 million. But given the short shelf life of running backs, he is in a dangerous game of chicken with the Steelers, who would be very unlikely to pay the $21 million a tag would cost next year. He revealed in March that he rejected an offer last year that would have averaged $13.3 million and paid $42 million over the first three years. The Rams' Todd Gurley, last season's Offensive Player of the Year, might be the one to watch if he cashes in before his fifth-year rookie option activates in 2019. Wide receiver the standard, Antonio Brown, the league's most productive wide eye is still the standard bearer at his position, averaging $17 million. But the five-year deal the Bucks Mike Evans signed in March could be worth up to $82.5 million, the largest overall payout. Who's next? Odell Beckham expects to break new ground, he floated his desire to be the league's highest-paid player last year. That's unlikely to happen after an injury curtailed 2017 season but, given his star power and ability, OBJ is likely to overtake both Brown and Evans, though a $20 million average might be a stretch even in the age of the expanding salary cap. Tight end, the standard, a generally affordable position is all over the map. Rob Gronkowski's six-year, $54 million pact represents the max value. Green Bay's Jimmy Graham is the only tight end averaging $10 million after signing for three years and $30 million in March. Buffalo's Charles Clay inked a five-year, $38 million offer sheet in 2015, and it was structured to guarantee him $24.5 million over the first two years to hinder Miami's ability to match. 
Who's next? Grankowski's deal runs two more years, though there are rumblings he'd like to renegotiate. Widely regarded as the best tight end in the game, he now trails Graham, Travis Kelsey and Jordan Reed in average annual dollars. Offensive limit standard, tackles, guards and centers are lumped together for tagging purposes by the collective bargaining agreement, even though left tackles have traditionally had the most earning power, but free agency in the 2018 draft may be an indicator that a transition is afoot as interior linemen are suddenly getting more love. Giants left tackle Nate Solder now leads the pack, averaging $15.5 million over the next four years. But new Jaguars guard Andrew Norwell will average $13.3 million over the next five, placing him only behind Sauter and Redskins left tackle Trent Williams among offensive linemen. This trio also tops the list in terms of guaranteed money with Sater assured $34.8 million, while Williams and Norwell were both guaranteed $30 million. Even centers are cashing in. Ryan Jensen, never a pro bowler in four years with Baltimore, just got a four-year, $42 million deal from Tampa Bay. Who's next? Dallas's Tyron Smith is arguably the league's most respected left tackle now that Joe Thomas has retired. Smith is in the midst of an eight-year, $97.6 million mega deal. But he could seek more guarantees after getting $22.1 million, according to Spatrack, when he signed this extension in 2014. Titans left tackle Taylor Lewin and Cowboys guard Zach Martin seem most likely to rocket past Sater's plateau before next year's offseason. Sports action and reaction delivered to your inbox, new N-E-W-S-L-E-T-T-E-R-S-P-O-R-T-S-S-I-G-N-Up. -S